Good morning. I was wondering, do you have an accumulation of paper, uh, mail, flyers, homework, permission slips, uh, just strewn on your counter, your kitchen table, the step to go up stairs? I, uh, I've had that challenge. I'm Jordana from Spaces by Jordana, and when you have six individuals coming and going through your home, you, you can definitely accumulate paper. And 90% of the time, it's, it's, not even, it's not needed. So I wanted to remedy this. I wanted my countertop clear. So I went out and I got just a shallow basket that sits on my counter. And all paperwork ends up in it. The kids empty their agendas right into it when they come home. And after dinner, I take five minutes to go through that basket. I address anything that's school related and it gets back to them and they stuff it back in their backpack. Any mail that needs to be addressed and, uh, you know, the flyers and all the recyclable paper that comes our way is disposed of immediately. So there's no accumulation. Any magazines that I may have, I will flip through them. I will choose the articles that are conducive to my needs. And I take the article right out or a photograph right out of that magazine, recycle the magazine, and I have a folder in, in my filing cabinet as a reference guide uh, for those so that there's no accumulation stack of, of um, magazines happening or newspaper articles. Uh, it's easily accessible as well, being in, in a folder. Um, I also, what works great for me, because I work from home, I need to keep track of my expenses for business purposes. So I have um, an envelope for each month. And so it sits, uh, you know, it sits in this basket, my, my um, drop box, as I call it, and all receipts are placed into that envelope. The envelope is labeled April. And at the end of the month, I simply drop it into my filing cabinet. So at end of year, when I go through for my taxes, anything related to a specific month is in one spot. Also manuals uh, for appliances, if you have kids, there's almost always a manual coming with the toy. So any of the manuals that are, are needed or warranties that are needed, I've created a file for those as well so that they're not, you know, hidden under a bed or missing somewhere in our tool space. I just keep them all in one spot. I have a very small filing cabinet. My, my office space here at home is limited, so I really needed to condense um, office supplies as well, um, having a, a number of office supplies and, and very limited space, I began using uh, ice cube trays uh, for uh, my uh, paper clips and my racers and, and elastics and anything that, you know, it's just going to be, you know, floating around in a drawer. The ice cube tray holds it in one spot and it's easy to see. Occasionally, I will, I will use just the small glass baby food jars for things that are, you know, that are needing to stay in place that may be uh, hard to find and floating around in a drawer. And I just turn them upside down so that in, in, in the drawer so you can see what's in it. So condensed space uh, it can be a challenge, but just getting a little bit more creative with, um, with how you use that space. I, I've definitely learned to master that in my little three by five office area and eliminated the paperwork strewn everywhere. I don't want to have to clear the kitchen table to sit for dinner because there's paperwork everywhere. So a drop box and small uh, trays for storage in an office drawer can work wonders uh, to keep it so that it, it's visually accessible. So that's my small tip for today. I hope you're enjoying your morning. And uh, of course, as always, any questions you may have, contact me directly at 705-718-8852. And again, I invite you to check out my website at spacesbyjordana.com. Have an outstanding day. Bye for now.